Good morning, good afternoon everyone. It's Ankit. Whenever or wherever you're watching this video, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch today's video. I hope everyone's having the best day or the best week of their life. If you found value and are excited about today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. So today's video is going to be about a couple factors that affect your property value. So when you're looking to buy or sell a house, some of these are things you might want to consider when you're buying or selling a house. The reason I'm saying buying as well is because when you're thinking about buying this house, you want to make sure you get your money back when you're ready to sell the house or move somewhere else. Leave a comment below with what factors you think affect property value and why you think they affect it. Let me know in the comments below so we can have a discussion about this. Let's try to hit 3,000 subscribers in 3 months. With all that out of the way, let's get into today's video and talk about these factors that could impact the value of a house. The first and the most important thing is location. There are reasons why everyone will tell you real estate is about location, location, location. And it's true. When it comes to the factors that affect property value, location is one of the biggest determinants. Keep in mind that while your home's location works for you, others will have their own criteria. For example, how good are the schools in the area? Is shopping and entertainment accessible? What are the property taxes like in the neighborhood? What electric company do you have in that neighborhood? Is it long commute to downtown or wherever many jobs may be located? Is it near a fire station? Is it near a railroad track? These are just some of the things to consider when you're buying a house. Is it near the highway? Believe it or not, size does matter when it comes to houses. Size often isn't the be-all and end-all, but it's nearly, um, so when it comes to determining the home value, it is very important. Square footage plays a very big role when it comes to the house price. For example, the medium price for a square footage in the U.S. is $123, but it's probably a lot more than that right now because of inflation. You'll be getting more of a house that's 4,000 square feet than one that's 2,000 square feet. It also matters how much of the space in your house is actually usable. Spaces like unfinished garages, basements, as well as attics typically won't boost your home's value even if they do attack a lot. Even if they add a lot onto your square footage what will matter in terms of square footage are areas that are like bathrooms and bathrooms and things that are just usable for the person that's living in the house. The next thing that can help determine the house's value is real estate comparables. You're supposed to love the neighborhood that you're in. You might give them the side eye for their home is not well maintained and becomes a drag on the desirable streets as well as the home prices. When it comes to home values, your neighbors are critical. If their homes are being highly sought by a virus, you'll more likely benefit from that. But if they're not, you'll probably be hurt from that. The word to know here is comps and comparables in your area that have sold within the last 12 months. These are the part of what realtors and home appraisers rely on when estimating the home's value is worth. Me being an appraiser, trainee, I know what to expect right now in the market. And for example, where I live, if you live on the northwest side of town, your value of your house is not that high. It's because a lot of people aren't taking care of their homes on that side of town. But when you live on the southwest side of town, the value of the homes are kept high and you can get a good return on your house right now and also it's a nice quiet place where a lot of families live on this side of town the age of the houses also plays a crucial role while it might be frowned upon to ask someone their age it is a central detail when it comes to buying a home if you're dealing with a home that has been a few decades in the rear view mirror and you have to do some math with that how soon might the roof or other major systems need to be replaced or upgraded? 
that can affect the uh, price of the something. How soon might the roof or other major systems need to be replaced or upgraded that can affect the price someone is willing to pay as they might want to pay less if they're anticipating needs for shelling out money for those repairs? A house that is less than 10 years old or even better if it's less than 5 can command more money because the buyer has a certain amount of confidence that the repair bills won't be that high. They can expect to have time to soak away cash for even when they a rainy day or eventually when that day arrives for when they need the cash. The condition of your home. If your home isn't in tip top shape, don't expect to bring it up to the big bucks. In fact, if you have a luxury of time, it might be behoove you to make any necessary repairs or do any upgrades and updates before you put your house in the market so you can maximize the chances of it getting sold for a higher price. Consider the cost of home improvements as an investment. At the same time, you don't want to get too carried away and invest too much money into the house as it's possible that you won't be able to recoup that amount that you spent. Do just enough so that you might be able to sp speak out about some of the profits that you make when you sell the house or something that might attract other people when they're seeing your house. While it varies by region and country, other factors can be found in other projects that can pay off including like garage door replacement, manufactured stones, a minor kitchen remodel. Some of the less profitable projects include upscale bathrooms additional, upscale master suite additional, the economy also plays a big, important role in the value of your house. Right now we have low inventory and we have uh, homes being overpriced. And then we have people being laid off. People are canceling their house purchases right now. So these are all things to keep in mind what's going on in the real world right now. You could have crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's. Your home is attractive inside and out. You're in a great location. The trouble is the economy is less than stellar, like we're in right now. You could be stuck until it swings back into the positive territory. If people are uncertain and feeling insecure due to the economy, they might delay major life changes such as buying a house. Or if they move forward, they might be looking for bargains, which is a downer for you. Your local economy and market figure also play into this equation. It's also supply and demand. If there is a shortage of available housing, like there is right now, in your area or around the U.S., potential buyers are on the hunt, and you can capitalize on the big time on the hot market. Think bidding wars and selling your home faster than you could have imagined. And as you can see, a lot of people are getting bidding wars right now because they're all trying to buy a house. And that's why there's no inventory. And people are just getting bidding wars and you're pay overpaying for a house. As you know, interest rates are increasing. And if you don't know, now you know. And on July 27th, the Federal Reserve ex is expected to increase interest rates. So when interest rates are at historic lows, as they have been in recent times, it's an incentive to buy. This is because doing so can be dramatically less expensive. On the flip side, when interest rates are high, fewer people may be able to home shop because it's more costly. If demand slows down, the price you can command may dip as well. Renovations. Making improvements can add value to your home, especially an aging home that might have outdated technology or appearance. It is important to remember that not all home improvements projects will add value to your house. In order for an older home, updating an electrical system could make more of an impact to the home than a new kitchen floor. On the other hand, a newer home may benefit from a new kitchen floor to bring the home's aesthetic curb appeal. First impressions are a big deal in real estate. 
Curb Appeal is a home buyer or appraiser's first impression of the home. A clean and well-maintained home won't guarantee an increase in the value of your home, but it does let the public know that you care about the property and spend time and money to maintain the home. Next time you come home, take a note of things that you like about your house from the exterior side. If you're looking to increase the value, it is it may be simple as changing the light bulb or painting your entryway. Here's a few examples. Improve exterior lighting. Clean or power wash the exterior living space. So if you see dirt or anything like that, um, when you driving your your driveway is dirty, you might want to just pressure wash it and clean it up. Update the mailbox. Buy a new home address numbers. Anything outside that you might see that could decrease the value of your home or make it look better. For example, I read an article about the door, the front, the front house door. And if you have it look real nice, that it can increase the value of your home and make it look real amazing. So this is just a fun fact. How can you check the um, what your home is worth? You can get an appraiser and they can find what exactly your home is worth and get comparables around the neighborhood. And then give you an, uh, almost an exact price what your home is worth right now. And they'll make a list of comparables and give it to you. Or you can go on websites like Zillow, Realtor.com, and other websites and find nearby homes and see what you have, compare their home to your home, see the square footage, see what they sold it at, and what, it has to be within the last 12 months. See what additions they made, and that can help you determine the price of your home. Or you can use an HPI calculator, a house price index calculator, which you can just Google it and you find it, and it'll help you determine the value of your home. And changing the value of other homes nearby it can help you use that tool and determine a nice value to market your house.